Saturday T Squad, so own and Kingdom Rain Productions have officially released the trailer for season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville, honey. Let's get into it. I'm excited. 2024 came in with a bang. You ain't seen this. Martel you got a move shot. Martel Holt was arrested and charged with domestic violence in the third degree. Harassing communication. Wasn't it like a text or something? Domestic violence sounds terrible. But it was for communication. What did he really mean to do her harm? Domestic violence is not the same as harassment and communication. That's a phone charge. Like your children gonna have to see this stuff. The internet never goes away. Martel right now, he needs intervention. I'm getting arrested for a text message that I sent Melody over a year ago, you know? He literally took a video that he and I did and was going to have it released. My message to her was saying, stop bullying me. Some bigger restraints need to be done in holding people accountable. Why did you feel it was necessary to go and do an interview with a blogger? It's like she went low and I went lower. She got me arrested. I, she got me arrested. Listen. She didn't call DHR on me. She, until y'all experience home. something of, like that. I've experienced that, Mark. You've Martin. never experienced I've been, I've been I chose not to get a divorce. Nell said that when she found out you were married, she stopped messing with you. <laughs> no. That's actually there. What is? You trying to make it sound you were still married where y'all hooking up. Yes, he was married. Did I know he was married? No. So do you think that this is a traitor, Chris? That's for him to address. My wife ain't no side chick, so she ain't now. Don't call her. She never was. Nell said something on social media. If you felt like you had to downplay, you've been around me to other people, then maybe you shouldn't be around me. What Nell? Nell? What Nell? No, I'm Nell. You doing the most? I can. And I can too. And we're gonna have a conversation. You stop me. Don't do that. Don't you do that. And you said free Martel. You know, you know what? You're not. You're not. No, that's that free T-shirt. And then did a LOL. I should kick your <laughs> in this damn store. It doesn't matter as a man. Listen, if you listen, see man, DV, that, that's not fair. That's not fair. No, that's DV, not fair. That's not fair. It shouldn't be no free to me. That's the dude you chose. That's the dude you chose to be a friend that's with. That's the dude you had that's three kids with. You three kids with. Hey, I'm Martel. All right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. You you met Martel before. Yeah, we, yeah. We go way back. In what way? Yeah, okay, yeah. She, she, she went to school. Dude, do y'all, y'all, like... Yeah, no, we... That type of situation to make people think, like, damn, did they, did they mess around before or something? Wait, huh? Y'all was on some weird No, you... It was given, like, we know each other in another way. She came to the house a couple times. He said you was at his house. Well, he did invite me. If we did, so we're adults. Like, hold on now. Like, I might have talked to something and see what, what was it about. It wasn't that serious. We ain't do nothing either. Hell no, I don't remember her ass. <laughs> hey, you need to stop talking to so many women, man. That what got you the problem there. You looking cool? How you doing? What's been going on? Living life, you know, dating. Yeah. Doesn't Law look so cute? Look just like his Uncle Martel. I don't know how that happened. Hold on, hold on. Drink a little bit more so you can tell the truth. This man got a girl cold. Girl, bye. What I'm saying? She ain't sleep with your man. Right. I don't know what this man does. And I don't put nothing past people. One of my producers married Destiny's man. What I would like to do is bring Sonny and Moses to the stage. Oh! You and Sunny, you guys are friends, right? I would say that we were too close for this. How do you want to have a career in this industry and you make moves like that? I was her producer, but she didn't really talk to me about Moses. You were pursuing the friendship I was pursuing? Yeah, that's what I was told. You was pursuing a relationship. I wasn't pursuing anything. It isn't favorable. Do you have to call and ask for permission, though, to date someone's ex? Destiny's producer. I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm going to say right now, I don't give two about it. You don't go date your friend's ex. You turn around and stab me in my back like this. Exactly. You knew what she had going on I from the point of you meeting her. You love you. by me, name your business after my baby. Law. Justice. Justice, which is the baby's name that we were going to have. Were you with him or not? Because you, you said 
she never confided in me about this man. She's painting this picture as though I was plotting on her man when I kept it all the way professional. It's a cousin. You get what you put out. We got side chicks, side dudes, side chicks, and side chicks. I was never a side chick, baby. I'm the wife. Well, all right. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Carlos said, y'all want to come for me about my shows? I always talking about how I need to get my shows together. All right. I see you. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I'm talking about, Carlos. Way to pivot. Way to pivot and revive this show. Yes. This is what Bravo need to be doing over there. Bring in the ruckus. Bring in the drama. Bring in the toxicity. Yes. For the mess. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Scotty. Wow. That was a great trailer. So much going on. Okay, so we got... Martel getting arrested for harassment and DV allegations from Melody. Now, I remember when Melody, when all this happened, Melody said that she didn't determine when they would arrest him. Um, the police did that, you know, so she just sat back and waited. They then decided to put, they put out, no, I'm wrong. They put out a warrant for his arrest. That's what happened. And, um, that's how the whole arrest thing ended up happening, but that wasn't up to her determination of when that whole thing happened. So even though he sent those messages a year ago, it, it's, you still sent them, sir. And you still were trying to do revenge P on her. Like just because a person, and then these men on this show, AKA, um, Screech <laughs> and Courtney talking about that's not DV. Just because a, a muck effer ain't pounded on you don't mean that they're not using you, okay? There is such thing as mental A word, which actually is worse than the physical in my book. This man has been mentally with her for years it's like when is it going to stop she still has to work around somebody who is a known belligerent violent person who is maniacal we've heard too many behind the scenes tea things about how he acts on set how he's popped up on her own set trying to fight folks how he acts at reunions and things with producers and heads of um the network there. He don't care. He does not care. And I personally don't think that Martell should still be allowed to be on the show because why would you put somebody in that position when you've seen all of this crazy erratic behavior from a person? Now, if something end up happening, then everybody going to be looking like we should have did something. I've been saying for years since season two that this man was a looney tune and he was nuts and that he needed help and that everything that's happening right now, I said it season two. You can go back and look at my reviews. I've been saying this about this man. I saw it before other people saw it. Y'all thought I was just talking to be talking, but I see the signs of an A word, an abuser, Okay. That's going to be crazy. Martell sleeping with this random lady. I'm not surprised because he'll stick that Peter Weeder anywhere, obviously. Look at Arion, but okay. Um, she, mm, she ain't even cute, but okay. Uh, that's neither her nor there. That whole part of the storyline. They didn't even really give us anything on the new couple. Like, they ain't bringing much of nothing. They literally was in the background. The new couple that has joined the show to replace Tiffany and hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nell and Tisha going at it. Lord, Nell is with the sh 
Okay, Nell want all the smoke. Y'all got Nell messed up. Just because Nell is a woman of a certain age don't mean that she won't get with you. And Tisha thought wrong, <laughs> obviously. But um, I can't wait to see what that's going to be about. I want to see also what's going to be the relationship this season with Tisha and Stormy. Is it still going to be contentious? I see Kimmy's wearing her natural hair. Shout out to her. Um, we didn't get much about her and Maurice uh, in the trailer. And to be honest with you, I'm actually happy. Hopefully they are playing the background this season because I can't take too much more of her and Marjorie. I just cannot. Um, what else? What else? Hmm, I do want to know in context what Marceau was alluding to when he said, I've been through that too. I just chose not to get a divorce. What was he talking about? The A word allegations, cheating allegations, arguing with his wife. Like, I want to know exactly what that statement was about. Mel not seeing it for destiny at all. I don't blame her. We all know how she switched up on Mel and did her. Um, shout out to Sunny Minks and Moses. You know, they're from St. Louis where I'm from. So this is going to be, like I said, a storyline on the show. We will get the confrontation between Sunny and Destiny and uh, Destiny and Moses. Now, you know, Destiny alleges that they were cool, like they were homegirls. You know, they talked on the phone. She went around uh, Sunny's family and things. And you all know I showed you that video from a few years ago when Melody and Destiny came to St. Louis to perform. And Sunny was one of the people that actually brought them here to perform. She was one of the promoters. So during that time is when Destiny was dating Moses. Mm -hmm. So she's seen them around each other and remember, well, this is what Destiny saying that, you know, she was around them. And remember Destiny says that they were alleging like they was brother and sisters, they cousins and all of that mess or whatever. Uh, Sunny is keeping the stance that, I'm not in the wrong for dating an ex. We weren't friends like that. So I can't wait to see like, what's the real true tea here? Like regarding this whole situation. Um, What else happened in this trailer? Uh, anything else happened that was major? Am I forgetting anything? Oh, I, you know, I love a good sit down between Mel and Marceau because it ain't nothing but a shade read fest. They go back and forth, honey, like two old queens. <laughs> You know, Marceau like to get in there with the girls, honey. He like to tussle. <laughs> you know, hips do not miss a chance, honey, to read the girls for filth, honey. Yes. So that's going to be cute, you know, because Mel be getting Marceau together every time she eat him up. So it seems like this exchange will be more of the same that we have gotten in the past. I think that it needs to become a staple on this show for Marceau and Melody to have they one-on-one -on -one sit downs where they do nothing but read each other. Yes, it's epic, it's iconic, it is everything and it gives me nothing but immense joy, all right? Also, I cannot wait to find out what's going on with this Nell and Chris situation. Was she a mistress? Was she not a mistress? You know, during the winter time, Chris's daughter did an interview where she was talking about how Nell was her father's mistress while he was with her mother and how she knew that he was with her mom and how her dad never really included her in anything or really spent time with her and basically favored his new family with Nell. Her mama even joined the interview to co-sign everything she was saying. We just saw in the trailer Nell saying that when she got with him, he was married. She didn't know Chris telling Martell that Nell was never a mistress. So which one is it? It's leaning towards she was a mistress. Maybe he was lying to Nell in the beginning, saying that they were separated or 
divorcing or he wasn't with her anymore because you know how men like to lie but I guess we'll be finding out this season I'm happy that Chris finally put some bass in his voice though when it comes to Martell and his little slick comments I'm like about time Chris because Martell be playing in your face and you didn't gave him too many passes throughout the years but this trailer looks amazing. I give it an A. I'm super excited. The new season begins May 5th, which is what, two weeks from now, I believe. Y'all, let's talk about this trailer down below in the comment section. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it all.